Good morning, I'm Kenzie and welcome to Dragon Track. This is the shelter I stayed in uh, last night. Back here there's a pipe water source, it's awesome. There's a preview over there and a bear box over there. Yesterday, before I got to that point five blue blaze, down to the camp shelter. It was my intention to start early. <laughs> like it. Five or six o'clock or something. Probably six. And then I got down to the blue blaze. <sighs> and I did not like the blue blaze. So I decided not to start that early. It's now 7.55. And uh, I'm heading uphill if you can't hear that. Ooh. And yesterday, one of the other hikers in the shelter had the exact same headlamp that I do and now my headlamp is missing hopefully she packed mine out too thinking it was hers there is a hiker uh, on his way to catch up with her and ask her about that and she's going to leave my headlamp at a specific place so that I can find it because what I want to say with this is you need to put some sort of indicator on your stuff that it's your stuff and I've known this I've planned to do this but I never got around to actually doing it. So, uh, it's better to do that sooner rather than later. Okay, so I spent last night in limestone shelter and getting back up was easier than getting back or going down yesterday. But still, the, based on the blue blaze, this will be the second shelter I recommend you do not stay in unless you have to. The previous one was 1.2 miles off trail. This one is 0.5, but the blue blaze is not good. Uh, however, going south, the next shelter is 13 miles away. Going north, there are two shelters about eight miles away, but they're being reconstructed. So you, you can stay there, but there, there's no shelter to stay in. There's water source, there's camping, but no shelter. So the next functional shelter is about 17 miles north. So right now, uh, unless you can hike 30 miles in a day, you're going to need to stop at this shelter. Uh, however, they expect that the two shelters eight miles north of here will be completed in late June. So, uh, when you see this, they might already be completed. I'm not sure the exact date this will be posted. But it might already be completed. I'm heading about eight miles north today. I'm staying at one of those incomplete shelters. It will be my first night in the tent since I returned to the trail. Oh. And I'm still so happy to be here. 
It's still so beautiful. We're at the edge of the forest, looking out of a field and some really nice views. I just met a hiker that saw a bear 20 minutes down the trail at his pace. It'll be a little longer in my pace probably and the bear might have already left when I get there. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a bear in the wild. I would like to. But I wouldn't want to endanger myself just to see a bear. So right now it's 8.33. So at around 9 o'clock, which is when I would like to stop and have a snack. <laughs> oh, that would be something, having a bear and me eating at the same place at the same time, but, you know. I find it interesting to see all of these stone fences that people built back in the day for whatever reason. Uh, I like history. And I wonder what they were for. Property line. Some sort of animal thing. Though most animals could probably get over a wall that low. Was it higher back in the day? And if it was, where are those rocks? Have they been moved to uh, build one or more of these rock staircases that we see? Whoa, that, that looks like it's been placed there on purpose. Almost like a Viking thing if we were in Scandinavia. Wait, is this a tree? Is this a tree or a rock? I mean, it looks like a rock some of the time. But touching it, I think it's actually a tree. Cool. Wow. And the sun illuminating, we're seeing that ray. I hope that catches well on cameras. You can see it too. That is awesome. So beautiful. Have I told you that I'm happy to be here yet? Wow. This is such an experience. My mom was happy with me doing 100 miles. Told me that no one in our family has ever done that before. And that if I want to quit, I'm still ahead. But Qatar and Beckens. I can't way to complete this. Well, I, I mean, I'm not rushing through, obviously. I'm um, hiking at about a mile per hour with the pack I, um, I have. Uh, and depending on, on what the trail is like. So, so that's about an average. Uh, something to use when I calculate how long it will take to get to the next shelter even though as in this case the shelter doesn't have a shelter yet but by saying in the next well not the next shelter the shelter beyond that 
since there are two shelters at about eight miles from here and I'm taking the second one that means I have about eight miles to the shelter after that if I take in the early shelter or the campsite in between them it would have been a little longer further and I'd rather have a little hike a little further today than to hike much further tomorrow so this way today and tomorrow is a little more than eight miles if I had stopped at six or seven miles uh, Tomorrow would have been quite longer, further, whatever. So, so it's nice to sort of split things up. I've been hiking for an hour and this is the third fence I've walked through. Which also means that I probably close to where that bear was sighted but I can't see anything and I can't hear anything some views that looks like a church building over there I like church buildings or religious structures and those houses over there looks to be larger than average here we have another rock wall and since it's a little further away from me I can see more of it and it sort of has a corner over there it's turning around is this a compound or, or trying to uh, be fenced for somebody's yard or something I don't know Does anyone know? Let me know in the comments if you have any theories or sure knowledge of why these stone walls are here. I've seen these orange little creatures on YouTube before. I believe it was Tex, another AT hiker that uh, showed them. I had no idea how small they were. until she put her hand next to them they're not big at all these logs can't have been here for very long I mean they seem newly stripped or recently stripped whatever and they even made a staircase with a railing this looks awesome ooh uh, and they well not on the first step but these steps have been I can't even think of the word but they're not smooth which means that I have a better grip oh. Bonus points for Connecticut and the people that do this. This is awesome. Thank you so much. And the railing is smooth. Mostly. I mean, there, there is a, a, a thing there that means it's not completely smooth, but this is nice really nice so nice thank you there's been some steep elevation changes in particular uh, towards limestone camp whatever it was called but in a 
few other places as well and, and getting that staircase was very nice. Experienced this on the trail before. They've cut the grass. I mean, this is what it would have looked like. But here's the trail and they cut the grass on both sides just to make sure we know where we need to go. This is awesome. I just wish that the white blazes were more frequent so that I can see them. The 4 out app helps a lot with that if you can see your location, which I couldn't last time I was on trail. Or most of the first time I was, first day I was on trail, two days ago, now when I return, but with a little help, I got enough knowledge and understanding that I could figure it out. That sign says do not pass. Uh, my first thought was that you're not allowed to pass that sign which is a little silly. My second thought was that once beyond that sign, one car is not allowed to pass another car that is ahead of them. We have that, those rules in Sweden too, but uh, thou shalt not pass. I mean, sometimes my head is in a different space. I told you on a number of occasions that I like religious buildings. I like cemeteries too. They're so peaceful. Where I come from, they don't usually put flags at the people's graves. But I'm not surprised. It seems like a very American thing to do. That looks like a Marine Corps flag as well. So maybe that person served in the Marine Corps. Maybe the others or some of the others have military or, or other service in their background too. I don't know. Uh, but I like this cemetery. It's St. Mary's Catholic Cemetery. Okay. Not sure if there's a difference between what a cemetery looks like, depending on what specific Christian persuasion those who, who built the cemetery have. If, for example, Catholics and Protestants or Anglicans do cemeteries differently, I don't know. If anyone does know, please let me know in the comments. Who is this the Appalachian Trail? Let's cross and see. I've been so focused on the cemetery that I haven't been looking for looking out for the blazes. But this seems indeed to be the way nowhere. And again, they have mowed the lawn for us. Someone has been nice enough to, to leave two jugs of water and some uh, duct tape here for AT hikers. Uh, the water is almost gone and I have plenty of water. So I'm gonna leave that for someone who needs it more than I do. There are nice people around here. I love hazelnuts. And when I was out hiking last year, I, I bought a, a bag full of hazelnuts to bring with me to eat as snacks along the trail. I'm used to cracking them and eating them one by one at Christmas. But last year I ate them by the handful, 
and that was a different experience. It more or less clogged my throat, it, it became a very thick paste. And uh, now I have almonds and they taste good. E they are easier to heat by the handful. Uh, so uh, as a hiker, I prefer these to hazelnuts, even though hazelnuts are, are generally my favorite. I'm not eating hazelnuts as a hiker. Really? You want me to go down this? I... I, I mean, this is... I wouldn't say impossible, but... but the rock is not smooth, but it's not something that I would say would be easily traversable. This is going to take all of my ingenuity. Okay, so so that's taller than me. Can't say exactly how much taller than me. That was quite the, the thing. Maybe not as hard as it looked at first, but it definitely required a lot of thought. Well, or thought. Whoa, stumbling. Don't usually have the camera in my left hand, but it seemed like the prudent thing to do right now. Even though there are these obstacles, I'm still happy to be here. I'm still heading for Katahdin. Okay, this, some uphills like this one. Sorry. No, go ahead, I'm talking to the camera, so don't worry about it, thank you. Some uphills like this one, and this one lasted much further than you can see. Yes. Uh, the ladies heading down are so exhausting. This, whew, I'm happy to be up here because that took a lot. Here we have another exhausting uphill. Might not show on the camera how much of an uphill that is, but trust me. It's going to be exhausting. I am now on Lion's Head, 1738 feet. Quick calculation would say that's 600 meters, but that's, it's less than that. Uh, some views through the trees. Not sure, but I think the blazes are telling me to go this way. I'm not sure I got up here the correct way, but to me it seemed to say go up the hill, straight up the mountain. But there was a trail that went up at a lower elevation gain uh, uh, per, per foot or yard instead of just going straight up like Paul Abdul uh, uh, yes white blaze going in the right direction woohoo and now we're going downhill again. <laughs> well, that's Appalachian Trail for you. Up the mountain, down the mountain, up the mountain, down the mountain. And if we're looking at elevation gain only, hiking the Appalachian Trail has 
I don't remember the exact number, but like 10, 15, 20 times elevation gain of Mount Everest. Obviously spaced out over 2,200 miles, so, but still, we're less than two miles from camp. Not sure how much less. Uh, two, it was two miles last time I checked. And since the camp is being renovated, I'm not expecting to see a lot of people there tonight. Views, views, views. And getting down from here seems to be uh, just as rocky as getting up was. But I'm not sure which route. Uh, that one seems less likely, so I'm going to try go this direction. Yeah, there's a blaze on the rock. As I've been hiking these uh, rocky areas today, I've been reminded of my favorite poem by Blake. It's called Jerusalem and it talks about the legend that Jesus Christ visited what we today would call the United Kingdom when he was young. And it begins, and did those feet in ancient time walk upon England's mountains green? Well, these mountains are not green, but it's been mountains and, and uh, it's reminded me of that poem and I know that my feet are nothing like his and this has been hard but we're soon at camp Bracy Brook Shelter built May 2023 it's brand new And it looks really, really nice. Sort of like that uh, staircase. They also seem newly built that I showed you earlier today. <sighs> okay. They still seem to have some stuff here. So maybe it's not completely finished. I don't know. Or maybe they haven't had the time to move that away. But... This seems really nice. Uh, the AT is that way. I saw a bear box down there. Or was it that way? Maybe it was this way. I don't remember. But there was a... Uh, I see a blue blaze there, so it might be that direction. There was a bear box there, and I'm assuming there should be a water source somewhere around here. Uh, there's a picnic table down there, and I think I saw a privy down there as well. Uh, see if I can find a water source. Hi, this is Editing Can Say. Unfortunately, I forgot to shoot an ending of uh, today's hike. So keep on checking.